Hey everybody and welcome back for part 10 of core fundamentals of web development. In this video we're going to come in to our links and add the ability to edit and delete a link. So let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things that we want to do is in our, our dynamically generated link content here that we did in the previous video, we want to add an event handler for each of these elements for the click event. So previously we've done add event handler in JavaScript to do a click event. You can also do that in your HTML. So I'm going to come in here and this is going to be an on click event for delete. And we want to have it called delete link. And then we want to do the same thing for our edit. So edit link. And what we want to do is pass the index of the element that we are either deleting or editing. Now, since we're using a for let of, I don't actually have an index here. If we we're using a traditional for loop, we would. So I'm going to start out with let index equals zero, and then make sure that I'm iter or incrementing this every time. So index plus plus. So this is going to match up with what index of our links array we're working with. And then we're going to pass this into this function. So I need to do a variable here and we'll just pass that in just like that for each of these. And now we can get started on our delete and edit link functions. So let's do function delete link and it's going to take an index and then I'll just console log deleting link at index and pass in the index. All right. So there's our uh, delete link. Let's come in and do same thing. We'll just copy and paste that to do edit. And then we'll say editing link at index. Oh, and it looks like we might have messed something up here. We need to, you guys, I'm sure saw this before I did. So I, I looks like I'm missing a quote there on our edit link called the on click. So hopefully this will look better. There we go. And let's just do, uh, now with link one, this is going to be index zero in our array. So let's click edit and we should do edit at index zero, delete at index zero, one, one, and two, two. Cool. So that's exactly what we want. Now to delete a link, basically we want to find it in our array, find the element at a given index in the array, and then remove it. So there's a really cool function for arrays that actually is going to be really useful if you're doing anything with arrays called splice. And splice, let's actually look up the, um, let's see, maybe W3 schools. There we go. And let's, let's look at their documentation for a splice. Now the way this is, is it looks like splice takes an index, which is an integer that specifies at what position to add or remove items, and then a number that tells you how many items to remove. So we want to start, so let's take our links array, so links splice, and our starting index is going to be our index, so 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 in this case because we've only got 3, and the second index is going to be 1. So this is going to remove that link, and then, uh, and let's just uh, do a console log of this, so let's console log our links just so we can see if this is working. So let's say delete link here, and then we've got two left. All right, so that looks like it's working. So what we want to do is now display our link, display links, call that function, which will go through the newly updated uh, array of links and then redisplay them. Let's save this. Let's do a delete on link one. It's gone, two, and three. So delete is working great. Now, one of the things that you guys might be um, might be kind of asking yourself or thinking about is, you know, when we're removing, when we're deleting a link, or when we're adding a link, we're going through the entire array of links and redisplaying them. Now, we could be a little more smart, a little more efficient in how we, especially how we add links. If we want to add link, all we would need to do is generate the HTML for the most recent link and not the uh, not the entire array of links. We could do the same thing for delete link, go in and find that specific link and just rip out that piece of the HTML. But since we've got this function that rips through all of them and goes ahead and displays it for us, it's just easier to use that. But keep in mind, and maybe this could be kind of a challenge for you guys, 
is try to optimize how this works, so especially for adding a link where you're not going through the entire array, you're just adding the extra link at the bottom of the inner HTML. You wouldn't have to come in here and reset it to nothing. You could just call a function that adds it to the HTML that's there. So you could, you could actually have that function be called from in here for each one of these links and then you'd be re reusing code which would actually be beneficial. So if you guys think that would be interesting to see, uh, mention that in the comments so we could do that as a follow up video. So the next thing we wanna do is work on our editing index and what we're gonna do is when we edit, let's reload this. When we edit a link, we basically wanna pop open our form because we're gonna use the same form to edit and to add a new link. So where edit should pop open the form and it should keep track of the of the fact that we are editing. So we can use a Boolean. So we can we can keep track of the editing index. So if we're not editing, if we're just adding a new link, the editing index would be negative one. If we are editing, it should be something zero or greater because it'd be an index and an array. And then we can go in and populate these fields based on the fields that we got from our link. So we'll come in here, let's start off by at the very top here, let's do a let uh, edit index. We're gonna start it off with negative one. That means by default, we're not editing anything. Then when we come in to edit, we can set editing or edit index to index. And then we'll come in and grab the values or set the values of our form elements, our inputs, sorry about that to uh, the value of the link that we're working with, which is going to be links at index. So the, the link at the index, at this index within the links array, and then we'll get its value. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop through these real quick. All right, so we're setting the values to the form. Now we wanna actually show the form. So we'll call show form panel. Let's save this. All right, so it's a refresh here. Now when we press edit, we should see we've got our values here for link and URL, but our categories aren't showing. So what we want to do when we edit is call the show form panel. And then on our show form panel, we can update it just slightly. Show form to display link categories, link categories, not link. There we go. All right, so let's take a look real quick. So let's do an edit on this first one. And there we've got our categories and the title and URL. Now, if we were to go ahead and submit we would get actually another link, so it would replicate what this link is. But since we've got our edit edit index, we basically want to replace what's at that index now with our new link. So in our submit here, let's find our submit function. There it is, submit button, our click event handler. When we come in here and create this new link, by default we're just unshifting it onto the array. But we can check to see uh, if we have an edit index. So let's start with if edit index equal equal equals negative one if it's negative one then we can do what we've been doing so let's just paste that in here all right then else so if it's anything other than negative one and if you wanted to be more specific you could check to see if it's something greater than negative one or greater than or equal to zero but if this is the case then we want to go into our links array at the edit index and just assign it to new link and then we wanna make sure that we reset edit index to negative one. And then everything else should work the way we had it. We should clear the form. We should display our link categories again. We should hide the form. And then we should display our links. So let's save this. Let's come into edit new link one. And let's call this new link newest. And we can add another category of real cool stuff. And submit. And notice that new link newest has been updated, but it looks like we're missing something for our categories. And I might have just, let's see, real cool stuff. I might have just not added it there. I, sometimes I forget to add the comma. And it looks like that's probably what it was because here it is showing up now. So with these links, we've got the ability to delete. We've got the ability to create new links. I'm just typing in dummy stuff here. So there's a new link. Then we can come into our new link and edit it and say, this is the real title. Submit, now we should see that's been updated. And let's say we, we do this middle one, so middle link title, it should stay in the correct position as well. So middle link title is in the middle. And that's because we're going in and basically 
keeping track of the edit index, so the length that we're working on, and then we're just replacing what's at that index with the new length that we're working on. So this is pretty cool. We're starting to add some good functionality. We're getting close. We're doing some good stuff. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.